Well, let's go take a look at the garden. See what all died. And all that right there. That's, we're having a bonfire tonight because it's actually pretty cool. But uh, the water's went down. It's not totally off the yard yet. Well, back there, it's not off the yard. But, uh, yeah, that's what happens when you get a whole lot of water at one time. These are brand new. I, I just planted them. I'm going to keep them in the ground and see if they come back. That's papayas. But as far as my tomatoes go, nah. Everything else... Hey, yeah, this is, uh, what, a week, maybe a week. There's my celery right here. I mean, when you stay underwater for that long, it's, it's pretty bad. But it, see, see, this plant here, I'm not too sure if it's going to die off or not. It's looking pretty healthy. Now, the ochre, they don't care. They Ochre don't care. You flood them. You can, in 2016, we had a flood. They were underwater for days. I'm talking like 19 days before the, the flood water receded. And the ochre never gave up. They just kept on. I'd go out there in a boat and pick ochre. But that cucumber's been on there for a while, and I don't think it's going to be do, doing too good. Uh, yeah, that's our Armenian cucumber. There's another one, and there's another one. Uh, now there's a celery I was going to let to go to seed, but it's already dead. Everything's dead. And then there's another papaya I just put in the ground. I mean, just put in the ground. And then uh, that happened. But everything, I mean, as far as the ochre goes, it's looking good. Sunflowers are looking awesome. Uh, they they really didn't get any high water. Everything, like, our property flows that way and that way. And it comes uphill. So everything goes this way. So all of this was underwater. And yeah, there's a bug on there. A caterpillar somewhere but i'll be tilling this up and uh taking everything out of here and moving it and see my fig tree right there it did good because i planted it high and then uh let's see my lemon tree i also planted it high and then same way with the apple same way with that apple. And this pumpkin plant has done went plum de crazy. It uh it did get attacked by um uh, them dang vine borers, which I really dislike. But I did operation on it, so major operation. What is that? There it is, right there. I took them out. And, uh, but yeah, it's growing. It's growing, growing crazily. And then, uh, that's my mulberry. And this is one beautiful, self seeded. I have no clue where it came from. Sunflower. It just popped up out in the middle of nowhere. And the lemon tree is doing all right. And then uh, this is my ochre, which as soon as it gets big enough, it, uh, ain't nothing going to take that over. Them things grow wild like all get up. But yeah, that, that flood pretty much hurt me pretty bad. I, I had just planted these plants, the, the little trees pie trees and this little fig tree yeah. and uh yeah the ground is wet now the onions i they just loved it
Now, let's go look at the animals, go see what they're doing. And as you can tell, this is how high the water got from, from right here all the way to over there. It was uh, pretty bad. For the garden, that is. Not for us. Just for the garden. Where's all my cra crazy animals at? These chicks just, they just don't care. They, they just don't care. They, they, do you not know we have birds and we have cats and we have dogs out here that will eat y'all? Get your butt back in there. Get your butt back in there. Go. You two, get up there. Oh no, y'all gonna climb the fence. But there's all my crazy birds. Well, a few of them, anyway. Look, that one, they're going to climb the fence. They're going to climb it all the way up. Look, there goes the other one. Come on. He can climb it. Mommy, you need to start taking better care of your dang chicks. Nope. Well, I'm not going to let you hurt yourself. But, yeah. Here's my boys and girls. Just chilling. And believe it or not, it feels awesome today i don't remember when the last time i felt this good it was like last year let's go see oh yep a bean sprouted about time i didn't think any anything was gonna sprout with all this rain we've had and there's the rose bush one of them Ha! Huh. Look, the weed died. And then we got the Creole tomato, which is uh, supposed to be heat resistant because, uh, yeah, it gets hot here. And there's ghost pepper. And then what's one we got here? We got the solar fire, which is heat resistant. And then we got the cow horn pepper which I've never grown so that'll be a first we're gonna go look at the lemon boy this thing right here it puts off some tomatoes I've done harvested four or five from there that's the lemon boy Pretty little plant. And then this one is just now putting off fruit. So, pretty big, pretty good tomato, I mean, but it's still small, though. It's been there for a while. And then this one here, I suggest nobody ever get it. Unless you want something that the bugs just love. They love this plant. And that's the Black Prince. I mean, there's always tons of bugs. I don't care what I put on this thing. There's always bugs. See that one right there? There's bugs always on that plant. And this one here, this is the best tasting tomato I've ever tasted. It's uh, called the Cherokee Purple. That thing tastes amazing. Now let's go look over here at this wild thing. That's pretty much all it is, just wild. I just stuck stuff in here and it just started growing. I don't even know. I'd be a pumpkin. I have no clue. And them are beans. Oh, look, I missed a couple. I'm gonna grab that one. This was actually supposed to be my compost bin. 
And then all of a sudden I was like, well, let's see what'll grow in it. You know, yeah, I've done got a pumpkin out of here, a couple of zucchini, and I got a couple of zucchini growing there too. See that? So, and then there's my peach tree. And then my indoor plants that I bring outside once a week. Let them get some sunshine. And then some of my peppers. That damn thing right there. And then my tomatoes. As you can see, tomatoes, 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 tomatoes. Peppers, peppers, peppers. So everything's doing pretty good except for my in-ground garden. I just take a loss on that one. I'll just move the in-ground garden next year. Well, no, I'm going to move it this year. But, yeah. Everything's looking good. Everything's growing. So, I think that's all that matters, right? I'm still eating from it. But, all right. Y'all have a good night and God bless.